Welcome to the another episode of r slash ask reddit. Which song emotionally destroys you? If we were vampires by Jason Iceball. As my husband was dying from aggressive brain cancer, the lyrics haunted me. Knowing that this can't go on forever, likely one of us will have to spend some days alone. Maybe we'll get 40 years together then one day I'll be gone. Or one day you'll be gone. He's gone. It sucks. Jason Iceball is a genius songwriter. That being said, his lyrics really hit the heart. I lost my dad in 2019 to dementia and plan on getting a tattoo of an hourglass with the lyric. Maybe time running out is a gift. Condolences on your loss. Nutshell by Alice in Chains. Same here, but the unplugged version. Unplugged is the way to go for this one. The night we met. Lord Huron. The thing about this song is it doesn't punch you in the gut. It's somehow already inside you, and tears through your heart on its way out. ETA, I had all, and then most of you, some, and then none of you is one of the most piercing lyrics ever, because so many can relate to it. You are my sunshine. This is mine. My mom used to sing that to me as a kid, when I was upset or scared, or whatever, and it would calm me down. Just watched her die from cancer last year. Somewhere out there from an American tale. Edit also, till that was Linda Ronstadt on the end credits version. This is the song that introduced childhood me to the notion that songs could make you feel things. Cats in the Cradle. As a son and a father of teenagers, brutal. You see, my new job's a hassle and the kids have the flu, but it's been sure nice talking to you. Dad, it's been sure nice talking to you. Literally living through this. I can't help but choke up every time this song comes up. Who wants to live forever queen? My dad was a fan of the band and we often listened to them together in the car when I was young. He was terrified of dying and fought the cancer as hard as he could, but it got him anyway. I cry like a kid with a skinned knee whenever we listen to that song. I'll add the song, these are the days of our lives to that. Rainbow Connection, Kermit the Frog. My date was blasting this when he came to pick me up for our first date. Our 25th wedding anniversary is in November. Always pick the person and ashamed to admit liking a frog made out of felt. I will follow you into the dark death cab for cutie. This one and what Sarah said. I find follow you into the dark a bit oddly happy or comforting. What Sarah said is basically unlistenable to me. Great song, but I don't need to be that sad on any given day. Wish you were here, Pink Floyd. First song I played on guitar after my grandpa died. Didn't even get through the intro before starting to cry. Also, shine on you crazy diamond. And although it brings a more chilling and scary vibe with it, it's still soul touching. Unplugged Nirvana all apologies. Where did you sleep last night? Starts off like a lullaby and ends in voice cracking sadness and pain. I remember reading Kurt thought the audience hated it because they were stunned into a silence and didn't react for a few seconds. Then I went down a rabbit hole researching lead belly. More pain, sadness, and death. 4th of July by Sufch and Stevens is probably my top example. Get well soon Suf. Scrolled way too far before finding Sufjan here. It's Cash Me Pulaski Day that hits hard for me. What a wonderful world. I was difficult to comfort as a baby for a handful of medical reasons. I've been told that song was the only one that silenced my crying and had a chance of putting me to sleep. Aside from that, I've always had a strong emotional reaction to it, since I can remember. Somewhere only we know, Keen. I remember the first time I heard this song I was 14 to 15, and it had me so in my feelings at the time, and really meant a lot to me. I heard my 12 year old daughter listening to it, and I wanted to cry. The lightning crashes. Song was playing as I was headed to the hospital the day she was born unfortunately I lost her mother that day, 6 years later I lost her, and my new wife, and baby in a car wreck. Jesus, mate. My condolences. Life is so unbearably unfair to some people. I hate that these losses could all happen to one person. Sending you love. The living years still gets me. Don't listen to it, if you have even a slightly difficult relationship with your dad. I played this for my pops shortly after it came out. My dad was the kind of guy that didn't really listen and hear music and lyrics. He listened to Radio 4 Noise, so I had to explain it to him. He said thanks. Many years later, right before he passed away he asked me about this song. I was shocked. I though pops didn't think about meaningful shit but uh, he was asking. 
I told him again, and he asked if I still felt that way. I told him most definitely, and all kinds of other stuff started to come out about how he taught me life stuff and skills I'll need. Working on cars, or doing home repairs etc. He said he always though he was a bad father. Not true. I told him he was the father me, and my sister needed him to be, and we love, and respected him our entire childhood and all through our lives, because of how he was. I was in tears over that 4 days. But yeah. Tell them while you can. It's kind of important. Without you I'm nothing by placebo. Wow. One doesn't see too many placebo enjoyers. To be honest, they really have no effect on people. Fake plastic trees. Radiohead. Radiohead has so many. Videotape is the one that breaks my heart every time. If I could add, no surprises. I think it's about suicide by car exhaust and peacefully going to sleep forever. It's sad and beautiful. Tracy Chapman. Fast car. I love the song, but that first bit of guitar plays and it's nope. Skip. I said somebody's got to take care of him, so I quit school and that's what I did. Oof having an alcoholic father so many emotions. I had a feeling that I belonged. I had a feeling I could be someone. The implication is, I don't and I'm not. Who knew? Think. The line if someone said 3 years from now, you'd be long gone chokes me up and makes me think of my uncle who I thought for sure would still be with us today, 9 years later and it still gets me every time. Family portrait is even worse. Pink has some brutal songs from an emotional impact perspective. Truth. Strangely enough for me, it's gucking perfect. After getting out of a 25 year abusive relationship, it was my song to myself. Brand new. The boy who blocked his own shot. Also, brand new Jesus Christ. Brand New has some devastating songs on Daisy and Devil and God. One More Light, Linkin Park. Lost my dad to suicide when I was 11. Was a big fan of Linkin Park growing up, but somehow never heard this song for years. When I was 18, my boyfriend was talking about them in the car and mentioned this song. He was shocked I hadn't heard it, but he was hesitant to play it for me because he knew about my dad and he didn't want to hurt my feelings. I insisted thinking I would be fine, so he played it. As soon as it started I rested my head against the window and just watched the world as we drove down the highway. I was silent the whole time, I didn't look at him, but I think he knew I was crying, because he put his hand over mine, and just held it tight. And then the line and you're angry, and you should be, it's not fair was sung, and I fucking lost it. We pulled over, and I just sobbed. And my boyfriend was crying too for a man he never and will never have the pleasure of meeting. I was a child when my dad died. I didn't really grieve him properly. He was my best friend and then suddenly he was just gone forever. For years it felt like a part of my soul got ripped out from me and torn apart, then shoved back and with no remorse. I truly didn't think I would make it in this world without him. But then I started picking up the pieces of his loss when I was 18 or 19. It's been 11 years now since he died, I'm 23 next month. I'm better, but man, not a day goes by where I don't think of him. To say I was shattered when Chester passed is an understatement. This world has a habit of taking the best people away from us far too soon. Somewhere over the rainbow, covered by Israel Kamakoi Wall. I commented the same song, but the original by Judy Garland. Her life was so tragic, abuse since she was a child. When she sang the song, she had hopes of finding happiness. The MTV Unplugged version of Black by Pearl Jam. One of my favorite lines of all time, I know someday you'll have a beautiful life, I know you'll be a star, in somebody else's sky, but why, why couldn't it be mine? I finally got to see them live, and when they performed that, and the whole audience sang their hearts out to that bit, massive massive goosebumps or free son moment. Eddie Vedder did it when I saw him solo too, and the whole crowd had been seated for about an hour at that point, but at that line a few people stood up then it was a wave of everyone standing up as they sang that. Jeff Buckler's version of Hallelujah, yes, and the other one on that album, that destroys me as lover, you should have come over. Generally, that album is just devastating. House of the Rising Sun. A friend and I used to play it every now and then at school. Then he drove into a tree one weekend and died. He wasn't even old enough to drive legally. That song almost brings back those memories. Eric Burden's life was pretty tragic too. Voice was one of a kind. No one is to blame by Howard Jones. 
that song started getting a ton of radio play when I was a teenager and having to come to terms with the fact that I was not like everyone else and would not be able to have some of the things one is taught to want in life. It was the start of a very dark time, I was depressed for years, etc and that song kind of became emblematic of that pain. I'm in my 50s now, and even though I have long since come to terms with myself and my life I still can't listen to that song without bawling my eyes out because it reminds me so strongly of the bad times. Landslide, Stevie Nicks, basically describes the relationship we all had with my beloved aunt. She was the heart of our family, and we lost her after nearly 8 years battling ovarian cancer. This song absolutely destroys me. I'm surprised this one is so low. I can't even think of the chorus without tearing up. This and basically any other song about the pain of growing up, losing your loved ones, being on your own, they kill me. Like a spear to the heart. Don't stop this train by John Mayer is another one. Don't wanna see my parents go, I'm one generation's length away from fighting life out on my own. La Boheme, old French song performed by the maestro Charles Aznavour, a masterpiece from the 60s and 70s. My parents and great parents liked it a lot, and I was fortunate to grow with it, and other gems of that time. Every time I hear it, I feel such a deep melancholy for the youth of our old people or those who have already left us, and even my own younger times, that are now a distant memory, and will never come back. Thank you.